I am Anil Kumar. With the help of few graphs, we will understand vertical transformation of quadratic function. In this particular video, we are talking about vertical compression stretch or reflection. So these are the three things which we'll consider, right? So what we have is we have a set of four graphs. We need to find equation of the transformed function. When we are saying transformed function, we are comparing with the base function y equals to x squared. So imagine that we have y equals to x squared and it has been vertically stretched or compressed or reflected. In that case, you might get a graph which is matching with one of these. You need to find equation of each graph. So that is the question. So the question here is, write possible equation of the parabola from the given graph. And all these are transformed parabolas. Okay, so let's begin with the very first one. In general, the equation is, y equals to ax square. So that is the general equation. If a is negative, there is a reflection on x-axis. If a is greater than 1, in that case, it is vertically stretched. That means narrower, right, kind of like this. If a is between 0 and 1, in that case, it is vertically compressed, kind of like this, wider, right, wider. So that is how it is. Now let us see how to find equation from the graph. The idea is to select a good point. Normally, look at 1. So if x is 1, then y value same as a. Do you see that? That's the trick. So if x is 1, y should be equals to a or a should be equal to y. So at 1, we have a point which is 4. Do you see that? And therefore, I could write equation of this function or graph of this parabola as y equals to 4x squared. Do you get the idea? So that is probably the best and the fastest way of finding equation of a parabola which is vertically transformed or vertically stretched or compressed, right? We are not considering translation at present, only stretch and compression. Okay, let's go to the next one. Now here, at 1, well, the point is somewhere in between. We are not sure. It looks like half, but we'll have to approximate. Now, in such cases where it is not easy to read the value, then we have to really look for a better point. So the better point here is at 2, the value is 2. Do you see? So we'll consider x value of 2 and y value of 2 for this equation and find value of a. So if I substitute this point, which is 2, 2, in the equation, I get y as 2 equals to a times 2 square. And from here, which is 4a, right? So from here, 2 equals to 4a means a equals to 2 divided by 4 or half. Is that okay? And therefore, we get equation of this function as y equals to half x squared. You get the idea, right? So that is how you can find the equation of a graph which is vertically stretched or compressed or reflected, right? Now, well, if you check at 1, the value seems to be half. So it matches with the strategy we, which we started with. I think we can adopt this strategy and answer these two, that is, find the equation of these two parabolas. Of course, here is one difference. A should be negative since they are reflected. So let's now look into our strategy and find the equation of these graphs. Now here this parabola a good point to look is minus 2 right at minus 2 we get 1 minus 1 as the value. So this coordinate point for us is you could have selected that one also right you could say at 2, the value is minus 1. So let's take the positive 1. At 2, the value is minus 1. Okay, we'll take either one of them. It doesn't really matter. 
So what we will do is we will substitute this value in our expression y equals to ax square find the value of a right. So y value is minus 1 a value is 2. So if I write that here what do I get? So let me do the calculations on the right side. So y is minus 1 equals to a times 2 square or a is equals to minus 1 over 4 correct. Since a is minus 1 over 4 we can write equation of this graph as y equals to minus 1 over 4 x square you get the idea correct it's also a good idea to check you can substitute for example the value 4 and see whether you get minus 4 or not right so you could do that so it's a good idea to write equation and check now let's do the last one in this particular case a good point to consider will be let us say this one this time let's take minus 3 and this is also minus 3. So that is the point which we are considering. So I am using the same formula y equals to ax square substitute minus 3 for y. So, so we will write minus 3 for y. Let me do it here itself. Minus 3 equals to so this is for part d right. So minus 3 a times minus 3 square or a equals to minus 3 divided by 9 that gives you a value as minus 1 over 3. So that means I could write this equation as y equals to minus 1 over 3 x square. Perfect. So that is how you could get equation from the graph. Right. So whenever you have vertically stretched, compressed or reflected graph or a parabola, you can find its equation as discussed here. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.